starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. You think any bodies are still in there? All mummified and stuff? If they are in there, they wouldn't be mummified. The environment's too damp. <laughs> there you go, bud. So maybe they are plant food. Mora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Peter, let's go! Huh. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. Hey, Quill, am I giving the old girl a scan? The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Yo, Quill, check out the upper wing strut. Mora, you know your ships. What about that loose unit up there? Crew, buddy, you're stretchy. Think you can reach up there and pop that unit out for us? Right, I'm pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. There you go. for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. You got it, Drax. Right there's good. Done. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes. That is why I can easily carry this great weight. What next, Peter Quill? This wreck is so rusted out, you can hardly see the blue. Long time since the war, and this place is all kind of wet. Feels like yesterday, in all the worst ways. Agreed. Stuff for me, Drax. Here looks good. I am on my way. Gotta say, I get some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the ground. Do you even know where to? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. No giant monster. All good. Surprised this thing hasn't been picked clean for salvage. This planet is no place for carrion. He's got a point. Hard enough to land here, let alone scour the surface for scrap. Good right here. Shall be done. Groot, 
Is there any way you could bring down that wing? Groot ain't that strong. He says you want something sharp. Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories! Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops. Here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. <laughs> we are not committed to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is, Lady Hellbender's fortress. It's gotten bigger, that's for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Looks like there's a way down here. Quill, you gotta see this ship. Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri feared her. They didn't fear many back then. Okay, here we go. <sighs> oh, slimy. Uh. Guys! You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? <clears throat> you think? Son of a smack breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, get fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sticking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull scud like this. Hey, just come to. Just leave the guns me, alone. Me, I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys. Or sorcery. Here we go again. to get up. 
up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding. Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Hey, Gamora. You dig out that cannon? If you want to wait a few rotations. I shall extract the cannon. Rocket, you can fit through that hole. Maybe hack something from the inside to make us steps. It is more stubborn than expected. Rah! Impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? You try holding it for a while longer. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. I... I cannot... I did it! Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That... Oh, Scott. Ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Not... You know what? Flark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing! Flark it, you okay? <laughs> yeah! And dry now, too! There! Now we have our way up! Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? <laughs> yes. Their heads are ridiculous. Another murder tentacle. Careful. It might be playing dead. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw. Touch me again and I paint these cliffs green. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbender. Let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. But your speculation is also conceivable. Rocket, do we have a frostbite kit on the Milano? If we can't get across it, maybe we can go around it. Looking for cracks, caves, or crevices, people. I feel like I've heard you say that before, but in a different context. Shouldn't we at least have a leash for our monster? There's usually some action involved in this kind of infiltration. Lady Hellbender is an astute buyer. I wish she will want what we are selling. She will not. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just doing some exploring. I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but is too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Quill's the greatest explorer I ever met. He wants to know how Quill's guns could just make ice out of nothing. You don't have a gun. He won't let me take him apart to find out. Everything okay, Peter? Yeah, just, you know, turning water into ice. Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout-type stuff. 
Scouting? Looks like we, uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. We'll take your word for it, bud. Take his word for what? He says the soil here is, like, supercharged with plant food. Get him a little bit of a buzz just walking up. Oh. people I feel like I've heard you say that before but in a different context guys I've got something here it's deep this looks promising there's little room to maneuver if something should attack we're not gonna be here long anybody see a way through we'll make one if we have to oh, anybody else smell that yep Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. That is disturbingly fragrant. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Whoa! <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Like that. I can use this. You know, we really got to work food. on your taste, but The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Don't pet the tentacle thing. Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better because if we have a proper cage. Teeth, Only problem oh, is, there's a pissed off monster way. inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. More! Come to me, 
coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flirting planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, I just went through the same crap you did, and I smell amazing. Ah, sure you do. It's my sexy hero, Musk. <laughs> that thing heavy, Quill? Surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Uh, no, it would compress anything inside to a mound of twitching gore. <laughs> Neat. Don't get any idea. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat! So if we're gonna haggle with the Monster Queen, how much are we asking for our monster? Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. <laughs> Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth it. What do you mean? I love easy. So, when are the rest of us gonna get back? It takes years of special training to operate these things. You had years of jet boot lessons. No, but the guy I took them off of did. You stole them. He was dead. Flew into a ceiling fan. don't go well with Lady A. We're gonna fight a monster queen? You would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. And if all don't go well? Then we'll know we should have sold her instead. if Lady Hellbender has an accident. Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Nice. Every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far. What if we've been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. Let's just get this done. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge, is what it is. Are you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. 
Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting a flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. Alright, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him! You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Maybe Gamora's right. We should try selling Groot instead. Oh, what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. Are you Peter Quill? We're not a democracy, Drax. <sighs> yeah, we noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of Drat. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa! A little bit close. Easy, big guy. Don't know what you heard, but we just want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me. But maybe it responds good to soothing tones. <sighs> Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we could sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 13 whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Hitting those dingers, George. He'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember.
so cool. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Off. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's it's opening night, and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I know. was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. I knew there had to be a catch. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. Aw, oh, crap. I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. 
Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. You know, I was talking to Janie's mom the other day. Uh, here we go. She's a lovely girl, Peter. She listens to disco, Mom. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. My plan's better. You're green.